you don't think the fan base is going to start getting paranoid again, do you? Preds. Facebook, maybe, but we live in reality. Did anybody see the broad shot difference in this game? The Preds are going to be just fine. All right, it's going to be one of those Pred fan reactions videos, isn't it? Short and sweet, where I get a good night's rest and I save all my energy for hopefully a bounce back game tomorrow on the second half of a back to back where potentially the Preds clinch a playoff spot finally. Preds lose 2 0. One nothing, really, when you count when a goalie was a net to the New York Islanders Saturday night inside UBS Arena in Elmont, New York. Making 41 saves to bail out his team time and time again and get them to two points, Semyon Varlamov played out of his mind. You just got to hand it to him. Prince lose to the New York Islanders for the first time in 11 games. The next longest active win streak the Preds have is against the San Jose Sharks, and that's at 10 games, and we'll see where that goes next season. It's the Preds' first loss against the Islanders since October 28th, 2017, and the first loss to the Islanders on the road since October 15th, 2015. Yes, yes, I know, the Preds have been shut out twice in the last three games, but the Preds played 10 times better tonight than they did against Boston on Tuesday. You play this game with the same exact effort 99 more times to equal 100, the Preds would certainly win 95 of them, and of the five times the Islanders would win, maybe two, maybe three would go to overtime and the Preds would still get a point. This was a stalemate for a long time, and you got to hand it to the Islanders. They're in a fight for their lives. At least the Preds are just finally starting to get a few more points to finally breathe and not have to worry about whether or not they're going to be in the playoffs. They're going to be in the playoffs. It just has to be official. With the help they got out of the tone scoreboard that I will get to. The Islanders, on the other hand, are one of five teams that are fighting like cats, scratching and clawing, trying to get the second wild card spot in the Eastern Conference because Tampa Bay all has but locked down wild card spot number one over there. At least the goal let in by Lankinen, and yes, props to Bruno for giving him the confidence to go with him, and Lankinen showed up again for his team. Unfortunately, he didn't get the offensive support, but at least the goal that Lankinen allowed wasn't a shorthanded goal that broke the scoring like against Boston or an odd man rush. It was just a simple play by Dobson halfway through the second period that broke open the scoring. Lankinen made a respectable 28 saves. Yeah, I only just had 30 shots, but one of the two that went in was into an empty net, I would think. Soros will be back in there again tomorrow in Jersey. There won't be any heavy travel. It won't be an airplane fight. It would be a bus trip, so it shouldn't cause any wear and tear on this team to go into tomorrow's second half of the back-to-back. -back. Barry Trotz got honored by the Islanders for his first game back there during the first TV timeout. And you can see it in this Islanders team. They're a hard-working bunch. Barry Trotz's fingerprints are all over this roster. Other than in the first period where the Preds started a little slow, they were outshot by the Islanders 12 to nine. The rest of the way, it was the Preds game to lose. They just couldn't crack for a long off. They out shot the Islanders 32 to 18 in the remaining 40 minutes, including almost two to one in the final period. I think they got 19 shots on goal. Hey, they brought the effort. They wanted the win, but Varlamov was just a little bit better. And I don't usually single out this category in my Pred fan reaction videos, but considering how lopsided this one was, did anyone see the broad shot total for the game? 33 block shots for the Islanders, only eight for the Preds. 33. Okay? The defenseman in front of Varlamov, his forwards, they went through hell and back because they're so desperate for points. And yeah, that was basically the difference maker in this one and why the Preds got zero points in this game. The effort was there. The Preds were getting the shots, like I said, in the blocked shots. And they had seven takeaways to the Islanders' three. They were running the show. They just couldn't put the puck in the net. Get right back at it Sunday against the Devils. Bring the energy you had against the Blues. The effort almost the entire game you had against the Islanders. And this team will get one step closer to punching its ticket tomorrow night. How do I know? How do I feel so confident that this team is going to get it done? The two teams right behind the Preds in the standings, well, not 
right behind points wise but the ones behind them as in the closest that can catch them they're not scaring me in the slightest minnesota lost at home to winnipeg with their playoff lives on the line and st louis was lucky to get a point in san jose san jose st louis got season sweeped by the sharks and devin cooley former milwaukee admirals property almost got the shutout in regulation he still got the win in overtime making sure the blues only got one point that reduces the preds magic number to three but hey the preds could have been that much closer and maybe if they had known that st louis had lost in regulation maybe they would have had a little bit of boost to finish it off tonight now as for tomorrow the preds go to newark to play the devils and the blues will travel over to anaheim to play the ducks where this leaves us with a magic number for the preds being at three if the preds win tomorrow by any means and then the blues lose by any means then it's done the preds have clinched a playoff spot but if say the preds lose in overtime or a shootout giving them one point then if the blues lose in regulation to anaheim specifically then they also clinch a playoff spot they're just that close don't worry preds nation they got this so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching as always click like if you like this video click subscribe if you really like it you can find my social media where you can interact with me during every preds game by clicking on a channel name tell all your friends about redemption and don't worry it's only a matter of time now.